Okay, so um, thank you so much, Derek, for coming through to come and see me. Um, okay, so um, we obviously um, have been discussing one or two areas um, that I could use you as my case study. And um, it doesn't all specifically pertain to what you may be going through, but um, using you as the relationship topic um, we discussed various things that we could basically improve on for you and one was um, just improving overall communication, um, listening skills, um, finding better solutions and not feeling emotional at times. Um, so yeah, we had a um, we have six weeks to go through everything um, and each week we'll obviously see where we can improve on certain things. Um, so yeah, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Derek Lineker, I'm 43 years old, uh, I'm an entrepreneurial businessman, so I run three businesses, I try and manage to divide my time to my three businesses and my family e equally, that doesn't always happen, um, so um, you know, when life's challenges come on board and you sort of get bogged down and focus on one thing or one area of life, you, you sort of maybe neglect certain other areas um, and um, it poses problems because there are multiple people and, uh, and multiple tasks that you need to complete and you don't always get to it and it causes frustration um, going forward. So. You know, the, the point of it all is that if you divide your time and then put some structure in it, that you could possibly get better results out of your time management and also get better results out of the um, communication and the interaction that you have with the individuals that you interact with on a daily basis and your partner and your family and your kids. So that's it in a nutshell. Okay, so... Um it's obviously quite important for us to follow a structure so that we can kind of see um, where we can improve on certain areas. So going forward, um, it's important for us to, to discuss, you know, like daily tasks, daily checklists, um, vision boarding, uh, working on like your goal setting, um, and basically having a little bit more structure so that you could improve time management and also um, also improve you know communication skills in in the same aspect um, so yeah so it would obviously um, be important for us at this first session to kind of um, work on certain principles and objectives um, so I think it would import, be important to confront understand define search and agree um, in terms of each um, of each aspect of communication and areas that that need a lot of work um, so yeah so we'd basically um, also be working through homework on a weekly basis so I need to know that you're going to be committed Is that something you could work on on a weekly basis <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously, if we've got areas to work on, we'll make time for that, right? That's my priority. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, so uh, for today, I think it's important for us to kind of just um, discuss communication skills. Like, do you find that communication is easy for you? Um, are you able to listen, like listening skills? Where would you say is your strongest point? So I, I'm in sales and have been for a number of years, over 20 years, so I don't find communication or speaking to people very difficult. The problem is that when I sometimes get too focused on one task, I may neglect certain other areas of communication which are pertinent to the day or to certain situations. Um, and you know, as they say, gents generally only think about one thing at a time. It sometimes is true, but you... You know, it's not an excuse I'm making, but it's just I have been told in the past that in certain areas there's lack of communication and obviously there's ways to fix it and I would look at it, but um, I'm 
see myself um, having an issue with kidney infection. It's just a case of doing it at the right time, speaking to people like you, or you know, doing it at the right time to make sure that it gets done properly. It doesn't always, it's not always a problem, but um, it does tend to creep in every now and again. Um, so it's you know, there's always room for improvement, and I'm, I'm up for improving myself and looking at other ways of getting better results. So. I'm not one that's really good with admin, you know, so um, I don't really plan um, met not methodically and I sort of go by gut feel and, and, and the way that I believe that I need to, to head in, which sometimes may be seen as a negative. Um, so again, I'm, I'm open to, to looking at different ways and look different scenarios of, of, you know, getting to same um, destination but in a more accurate, more structured, um, more confined manner, which delivers results in a quick turnaround time. So, you know, it's just a nice skill. Yeah, so it's definitely part of uh, planning better and having certain daily tasks in place that, that allow you to be more productive. And part of that would be um, your listening and communication that would fall into perfect place. Um, sometimes people are not even aware that that you know they're lacking in communication and they're a little bit unconscious. So um, I think for you, if if you could focus on these next couple of weeks to be a little bit more conscious and present on everything, um, that will definitely help you um, to be driven on this specific cause. And then, like I said before, it's not always a case of me not wanting to do it, but uh, yes, I will be more focused and, and give it more attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, good. Um, yeah, so um, tell me a little bit more about your upbringing. So I'm the youngest of three. Um, my family was a bit broken. I was never sort of a, a solid unit. Um, there were extended periods that my father wasn't around. To his own fault, and um, I think it obviously had a bit of an effect in terms of the way I was brought up and um, the way that I sort of um, deal with my own problems. Um, I, I'm not one that openly speaks out about my problems, and it's probably also partially why I don't communicate that well because from young I've sort of learned how to fend for myself and you know. Uh, be pretty independent from the family unit, you know, and uh, I always generally felt like um, an outsider in the family, so, you know, holidays would come and I would up and go stay with my cousin for two weeks or, you know, just get out the house and sort of learn the, the ways of the streets quite quickly, um, how to defend myself, you know, and um, you know, look after myself and also you know, make a living for myself. Um, never really had uh, the money in the family to go and get formal education and stuff like that, so everything that I earned today was through the sales and sales environment that, I, that I've cho chosen as, as my life path up until now. Um, there are certain other areas of, or professions which I'm looking into right now, uh, which have come up. As you get older, you, you sort of have an inclination to move towards or gravitate towards a certain thing, and uh, there have been some cross, crossroads in the, in the last couple of years, and also some some letting go of, of certain parts of my life that I've had to deal with, which has possibly also got an effect on the way that I deal with people right now. Um, so yeah. Okay, yeah, you'll often find that um, when people have a certain upbringing they carry stuff from their past um, and as as you well aware this is um, life coaching and and improving self coaching skills so you know it is important for us to work through to, to work through shadows um, but at the same time there's not really much you can do about uh, past issues but only grow from them and and move forward so it's not, it's, it is quite different to a psychology session where 
you would have to work through and release um, a lot of anger and, and hurts and confusion about your upbringing but this is more um, part for you to basically um, create daily plans to improve your life no matter what you've been through um, because it doesn't matter at which point in your life um, things like this or, or, or journeys like this happen you are able to turn your life around and make positive improvements mm -hmm. um, so it, it is it is important for us to to basically bear in mind that a lot of it can also be from your upbringing because you felt maybe um, you didn't have the communication channels that that some families offer so you chose to kind of isolate yourself but um, you know with also you being a father you could you could definitely change um, your children's path and learn from what you've been through um, so yeah so I'm, I'm glad that we will make headway with that um, and we'll obviously also uh, implement solutions um, as we go along I would say um, you know we'll continue obviously going through um, a few more things for this session um, but yeah in future if you can just bring a notepad with you and then uh, we'll just jot down some homework and, and go over some points as we go along um, and yeah I think for 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 now it's, it's obviously quite important for you to be a little bit more conscious of um, what's going on around you and and also make some points from your side during the week um, for you to basically um, for you to basically see if there are areas where you could improve on in terms of communication listening um, not only at work but at home um, you know say with uh, somebody at the grocery store um, things like that so um, yeah so for now um, uh, I'd like to obviously just take a small break just so you can go grab some water and that and then uh, we'll continue for the balance of our session. Um, so yeah, we'll chat in a minute. Thank you so much. <laughs> 